drawing, click this drop down arrow by the AutoCAD icon, click new. And select Akadisu 3D template for metric units since I'm using millimeters and click open. I'm just gonna arrange my window. So go to view, tile vertically. And I'm gonna move my reference drawing to the other side. So click anywhere on this window and click tile vertically again. And I'm just gonna adjust my screen quickly here. And make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow by the view cube and select parallel. Now go to home and uh, make sure to work um, on uh, southwest or southeast isometric. You can do that by clicking custom view or you can go here. Here inside the view panel. You click that and select Southeast or Southwest Isometric. All right. So now I'm going to start drawing the gland, which is this one here. And also this one. So start with circle. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option and enter 68. Now the thickness is 10, which is this one. So I'm going to extrude. So inside the modeling panel, select extrude command. Select the object you want to extrude. Right click, enter, and bring it down for 10 units. I'm just going to turn off the grid. And hold down the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time to turn this around. And draw a circle on the bottom. So C for circle, snap the center. Type D for diameter option and enter 60, which is this one here. Now I'm going to extrude this circle. So select that circle and extrude it downward for 93 units. Now draw another circle. Now I'm going to combine these two first this one and this one because I'm gonna poke a hole through this object so C for circle snap the center type D for diameter option and enter 32 which is this one here now I'm gonna select that circle and extrude it upward up to this point or you can snap the center here or uh, over here is okay and then select um, solid subtract command inside the solid editing panel select the object you want to keep this one here right click and select the object you want to use to subtract there you go so the gland is done the next thing I'm gonna draw is the valve seat which is this one And which is also this one here. But before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on. Color tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, and selection cycling. Now I'm going to start drawing a circle. So C for circle. Type D for diameter option and enter 125. And extrude this one downward for six units, which is this one here. And um, hold down the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time. C for circle, snap the center, type D for diameter option, and enter 115. Another circle, snap the center, shift right click and select center on just hover over on the side and just click once that um, green green uh, circle appears and type D for diameter option and enter 100. Now I'm gonna extrude these two circles. 
downward no, just one circle first this one the bigger one downward for 32 units and combine these two this one and this one I'm just gonna change this to wireframe because I have this circle that I need to extrude maybe I'm gonna move this one shift right click and hover on the side and snap that and move it at the bottom so center there you go and I could change this to x-ray maybe all right so I'm gonna extrude this one upward and you subtract command to select the object you want to keep right click and select the object that you don't want or you want to use to subtract so if I change this to conceptual there you go so the valve seat is done and the next um, thing to draw is the stud and the height is 192 so what I'm gonna do is um, draw a line first and move it upward for 192 so this is just gonna be a guide I'm gonna start from the very top with circle and the diameter is uh, wait diameter for this one is this one here I'm just gonna annotate first so diameter no just line for this one is 18 which is also this one here all right so circle type d for diameter option and enter 18 now extrude this one up to this point here and the uh, height is um, 48 now draw another circle at the bottom so hold down the shift key and the wheel of your mouse and see for circle snap the center and the diameter for that is uh, 25 just give me a sec here sorry I forgot to dimension that all right this one here from this endpoint to this endpoint is 25 all right so see for circle snap the center type d for diameter option enter and enter 25 and the thickness for this one is 2 so select the object you want to extrude extrude command inside the modeling panel and enter 2 another circle so see for circle snap the center type d for diameter option enter and enter 18 and extrude this one all the way down for 108 so enter 108 now i'm gonna so 108 i'm gonna copy this um I'm just gonna copy that from that center to that center let me check first with x-ray I don't want it to be overlapping just give me a sec here front view if I snap the right uh, end yeah we're good just gonna change this to x-ray 
Now another circle. So say for circle, snap the center here. So shift right click and select center. The one there. Oh, we have to change now. What did I do? Now make sure sometimes it happens. So just um, inside the coordinates panel, uh, select Z axis vector. Click anywhere on the screen and make sure to point it upward. There you go. And um, circle again. Snap the center. Type D for the enter option. Enter and enter 18. All right. Now I'm going to extrude this circle. Extrude downward for 32. Now I'm going to check my guide if we did the right dimension. Because this one is, um, this line is 192, and I'm gonna check it by bringing this to front view. I'm just gonna move this uh, object somewhere here. So move here. So the other ones are out of the way. So this one here, yeah, we're good. The height is, you can also measure the distance by typing DI for distance from shift right click. From the center to the center at the very top so shift right click again and center and you can see it's 192 look down here so we're good now i'm gonna combine the objects by using union command inside the solid editing panel and just window the whole thing now this is one object and i think i combined this one already and this one and I'm just gonna change this to realistic. I have to dimension this uh, fillet here. So click this drop down arrow and select uh, radius. And the radius for this one is uh, five. So go to solid, select fillet edge, right click, select radius option and enter five. Just click this edge here, enter, enter again, right click to repeat uh, fillet edge and just click this one. And I think I'm done. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial and see you again.